Hello and good tag everybody, I am Fitz and welcome to another video about the Oculus Rift and Leap Motion. I've got some new demos for you in this video and another one that'll be uh, released in a week or so. And yeah, before I begin, let me quickly introduce myself to the new viewers over here. Um, I'm Fitz, I am a gamer, so I make videos about games mainly with the Oculus Rift, but also like indie titles or uh, some unreleased games when I get my hands on them. So um, if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe and uh, look around in my playlist. I got a lot of content for you right there. So before we jump into the first demo, let me quickly show you my new setup here, because um, if you have watched my first video about the Oculus Rift and the Leap Motion, and you should, there's a link right here, um, there I introduce you to the Leap Motion and uh, some basic demos. In that video, I had taped my Leap Motion uh, to the Rift with tape. <laughs> so since then, I've upgraded a little. Um, I now have a 3D printed clip and clip holder. As you can see, a good friend of mine um, ran this through our 3D printer and as you can see, I can just pop this off my Rift now. It's pretty convenient, so I can uh, yeah, put it on, put it off uh, whenever I wish. Um, the clip holder itself doesn't obscure any infrared LEDs, so um, yeah, that's good. I still don't use the um, mounted uh, USB port of the Rift because it still doesn't work for me. I don't know if I have a defective unit or something, but it doesn't matter. Um, even with a really long USB cable, the Leap Motion still kind of works um, to the best of its abilities, that is. And um, yeah, we are gonna use that. And also, a um, little funny thing is this. Uh, maybe you see this. This is used to um, turn like uh, this little thing here to uh, change the distance from uh, your face to the um, actual um, yeah, lenses. So this is pretty handy, so you don't need to use a coin or something. Um, this actually snaps right in there and, and, and holds at this place. I just popped it off to show you. So yeah, that's awesome. And let's go to the first demo, right? <laughs> so welcome to the first demo. This is Battleship VR. And as the name suggests, we are playing Battleship in VR. Unfortunately, there is no AI enemy. Um, so I'm pretty much just playing by myself. Um, but the cool thing is, I'm a robot, and when I hold my hand up, you can see this looks pretty awesome. Um, my leap motion today likes to work, it seems, even though my <laughs> thumb looks strange. But yeah, this looks good. Um, so let's... Yeah, it's kind of working. As you can see, it holds two fingers together, even though I'm just holding up one. Yeah, I like that. Whatever. Um, let's enable this. We have a UI we can interact with and we have three options here. We have uh, yeah, the settings option where you can just uh, reset the demo and we see the developer, Nathan uh, BT. So uh, yeah, cool demo guy. We can uh, take a look at our loadout. And by the way, we have a flying, flying battleship. Um, so we're not uh, a ship ourselves. Um, yeah, we have a variety of cannon, torpedo and cluster. Um, we have the cannon has unlimited ammo, the torpedo and cluster weapons have zero in this demo. I don't know how to get more. And yeah, next thing is to actually activate the uh, attack grid. And this is uh, what you expect from a battleship game pretty much. So, um, uh, did you just flip me off? <laughs> Fuck you ships. Um, yeah, you can now choose where to attack, F6 and launch, and the thing will actually shoot. <laughs> now this is a really fun way to play Battleship, if you ask me. <laughs> um, imagine there would be more like models and everything, and you could um, yeah actually see something down there, because um, I, I wasn't able to even um, place my own ships, so uh, yeah. This is just a really raw prototype of a game, but it shows what how you can even turn a really, really old game like Battleship uh, into a fun VR experience. And I mean, look at this. This is this is awesome. <laughs> Let me see if I can hit something so we can at least see an explosion. There we go. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna stop here because I tried this before. Um, even if you manage to pretty much um, destroy a whole ship, nothing really happens. You don't get more weapons. So let's move on to the next demo. Welcome to the Collider. Um, if you ever wanted 
how it is to be in the Large Hadron Collider. Um, this is a musical take on it. <laughs> um, you have a bass line as you can hear and when you hold up one hand, a track gets added. And if you hold on the other hand, something different gets added. And if you hold up both, you can do all kinds of different stuff. Um, I guess I haven't figured it all out yet. I don't know what that is, really. I have no idea, <laughs> to be honest. And somehow I'm changing the music, I guess. Um, you can also um, yeah, get some balls in your hand. It's a recurring theme in my videos, it seems. <laughs> yeah, and that's about everything I was able to find out in this demo. It took me about an hour to record this, really, because it just crashed on me every time I tried. Still? Come on, pop. Pop! Yeah! <laughs> this is a fun demo still. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, let's move on uh, to the last one. Last but not least, there is a little hand isolation demo. Um, at first I didn't know what to um, think of this, uh, because yeah, you have some things I can interact with it. Sorry, I have to look to the right, I couldn't reset this demo. This is nothing special, but then I took a look at my hand, and that's not a model. That's my hand. It's actually my hand. And this is a pretty fun, fun idea and fun demonstration, because when you imagine uh, what you could do when you um, like uh, digitize like a sword or something to create even more immersion in uh, the game when you're really holding a sword and you can see it and there's nothing you don't have to see some funny skeleton thingy um, to um, yeah represent your hand you can actually see your hand and this is pretty neat i think so yeah <laughs> that's about it so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed these three little demonstrations with the Oculus Rift and the Leap Motion. I sure did. This is really uh, interesting times. There's more stuff coming out like uh, every month. Um, it's it's low pace, of course, but yeah, it, everything is still in development. Again, if you haven't seen my first video about these two devices, check this one out and also take a look at my other videos. Uh, maybe there's something you can enjoy. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, would make me really happy. And otherwise, uh, see you in the next next video. Bye bye and auf Wiedersehen.